welcome to Creative Kids from Leamington Spa Art Gallery and Museum. At the Art Gallery and Museum, we run loads of different sessions for kids of all different ages. We run arty tots, we run art carts every Saturday, and we also run stuff called Holiday Art Club. This session is an online session that kind of replaces all of those. So if you're a kid aged between, I don't know, three and 12, or even if you're just a big kid, you can join in with these sessions. Now, I'm gonna tell you a story today about something that's really gonna cheer up your day. Um, and you need some pictures to go with the story. And the story is all about an artist called Terry Frost. So in a second, I want you to pause the video and I want you to go onto a computer somewhere and Google Terry Frost and put in Google Images and see what comes up. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, aren't they colourful? Aren't they great? And doesn't he look like a jolly man? When I Google image Terry Frost, the first picture I got was his big smiling face in his workshop. Now I'm going to tell you a story about Terry Frost because Terry Frost was born somewhere that I think is a lovely place to live. And that is Leamington Spa. Now, Terry Frost was born in 1915, and he was just an ordinary boy. He lived with his grandma and three uncles, and he left school when he was 14. Now, Terry Frost really loved art and drawing, but he didn't really think he could be an artist as his job. So, first of all, I think he worked in a bike shop, and apparently he was very good at doing the window display and making it look all great. And he also worked in a baker's. And I'm just gonna imagine myself doing this for a minute. He used to pike the cream into the donuts and then pipe on the jam and was very, very good at making the donuts look delicious. Actually, I love those donuts with the sugar. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Anyway, Terry Frost had to have an ordinary job, didn't think he could be an artist. And then something terrible happened to him, absolutely terrible. He had to go off and fight in the war. And then something even worse happened to him. He got caught and got put into a prisoner of war camp. So we may feel a bit like we're stuck in our houses at the moment, but poor Terry Frost was in prison. And it was in this prison that he met somebody. He met a friend, a man called Adrian Heath, who was already an artist. And at that point, they started drawing and they started making pictures on bits of old rubbish. The Red Cross sent them some paint. And this was really the start of Terry Frost's art career. So I want to encourage you that when you're stuck in your houses at the moment, this might be the start of becoming an amazing artist. Now, Terry Frost used to say, life's a bowl of cherries. And that was because he was so cheerful and he loved positive, bright shapes. In fact, the older he got, the brighter and more cheerful his art got. So we're gonna have a, a little go at being maybe working in the style of Terry Frost today. So the first thing we're gonna do is a little game and you're gonna pause your video for this. And what you need is an old piece of cardboard and I want you to cut a viewfinder out of here. Now what you're gonna do is hold the viewfinder out with your arm. You can shut one eye because that makes it easier. And I want you to see what shapes you can see. I can see rectangles, squares. It just helps you to really look at the world and see different shapes. The other thing you could do when we go on our game in a minute is you can just stand still and you can sort of close your eyes like this till everything goes fuzzy. Go and have a practice. And it's almost like when you nearly shut your eyes, but you, they're not quite shut, you just see everything in big shapes. Now, Terry Frost was an abstract artist, so he just drew things as big shapes. So I want you to press pause again, and I want you to go for a little walk around your house, if you've got a garden, go around your garden, around your bedroom, and I want you to have a look and see what shapes you can find. So I'll see you in about, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes? Okay, see you in 10 minutes. I'm back, I'm back 
from my shape walk. Now, oh, I love shapes and I'm just going to relax and I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to kind of doodle in a Terry Frost kind of way. And I'll tell you what shapes I saw. I saw the tree in my garden and in between the tree in the garden, when I looked through, I could kind of see triangles. Then I'm going to have a think. Well, then um, there was the washing line coming down here. And that was that kind of shape. And I liked looking at the light coming through. Now, I've got bumpy bits in the cardboard, that doesn't matter. But I'm gonna think, I'm just gonna relax. And I'm gonna think, what shapes would look nice here on the picture of shapes that I found in my house? I think I'm, I'm gonna have the windows that are in the back of my house now crossing over here. And I'm gonna kind of doodle. And I'm just going to have fun and enjoy and just create shapes that remind me of the of my house and where I live. Now, you could now use any colouring things you could find. You could use felt tips. I actually very luckily found some pastels that I bought about 10 years ago, but I haven't used them for ages. And you can have a go at just colouring in your shapes. Now, don't think too much about what colour you're going to use. Just enjoy the colour, have a go and just think, well, what, 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 what do I, what do I feel? Make sure it makes you feel really, really happy. And I'm going to carry on for the rest of the day and I'm going to carry on um, I might even put a photo up of my finished piece in the style of Terry Frost. But I want you to have fun today. Relax and enjoy. And remember in art, there are no mistakes. The worst thing that can happen is that you decide to try again. So have fun and I'll see you next time.